Hey, what is up everybody? This is Jason with devslopes.com and in this video, we are going to set up this uh, introductory uh, banner container and set some base rules, some base style rules to our page. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So over in our text editor, since we're going to be working with a new container, let's come over to the uh, container uh, file here and create one called banner container. All right, and then inside this, we're just going to add a few style properties here. We're going to give it a padding of 40 pixels uh, from the top and zero from the left and the right. And we had that really nice dark background. So let's go ahead and set a background color with our base dark. All right, and then we're going to add one more thing here is all the font that's going to be in this uh, container, we're going to go ahead and set it to the white. And so what we've done is this banner container now has a default of a font white, but if we choose any of the uh, content in it and specify a different color, obviously that style rule is going to override this one. All right, so there we go. So that was simple. We set up our banner container. And let's go ahead and add some basic base styles here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our body uh, element here and we're gonna set some standards for the body. So we're gonna say that the font family is going to be, let's come into our variables. Oh my word, it looks like I have a typo here. Go ahead and fix that real fast. Line nine, okay, base light, I had an R in there. Um, anyways, we're working with a font family and why don't we go ahead and set this as the font family and also looking at this <laughs> we got to change one more thing here go ahead and add in a font family base and the reason I did that is because we have a font base uh, referring to a font size and then we have a font family with the same variable names that could get tricky here so anyways we're gonna snap right back over here and make our font family the default Roboto font family and then we're going to add a font size and this one is the uh, font base right and then the last thing we want to do is add a line height and the variable for that is the base line height right here so now all we've done is in our body we set up some standardizations to use throughout the body of our website unless otherwise uh, indicated now that we've set this up, let's go over to our web page and see how it looks. Go ahead and refresh that. And there you go. We have created the next section here and added the uh, background and some padding. So that's a wrap for this lesson. Let's keep moving forward.